rain, it would have been nice to have a little sunshine when we're talking solar, but we're going to get this in before any rain comes. But it's truly an honor to partner with DOE, and I want to thank Department of Energy and those departments in the United States government, which help stimulate job creation and, and the use of some very, very needed grant monies to provide ener energy efficiencies through many of our aged city buildings that we have here in the city of St. Petersburg. And when we're looking at budgets and, and tightening budgets and operating constraints, we're looking at spending capital dollars and making investments that will help us reduce our general operating requirements. This is real money. The energy savings that will be derived from these energy efficient projects will absolutely pay for the projects themselves, which we use DOE dollars to do. So it's a huge shot in the arm for the taxpayers of the city of St. Petersburg, a great use and, and a great demonstration of stewardship of the people's money as we look for energy efficiencies and, and really a reduced dependency on uh, the, the fossil fuels that, uh, that are out there. So we have uh, used, put these monies to good use and you'll see a lot of uh, pictures and, and demonstrations of the city's stewardship from a coal roof to HVAC system, solar heating, which you'll see in this building. Uh, we've, we've retrofitted a lot of our lighting to LED lighting in our parking garages. Uh, so we've absolutely uh, put these monies to good use. So I want to thank uh, those involved, and Mike is going to mention those partners. I would like uh, to also mention that we've contracted with over two dozen local contractors and small businesses. So. Uh, giving them a shot in the arm as well uh, during a down economy has been uh, also a good use of these money. So thank you to the partners. Uh, please uh, look at some of these uh, demonstrations of the energy efficient products that we've installed. And I also want to welcome Congresswoman Castor who has been uh, dedicated to the people of Tampa Bay and to her constituents in the city of St. Petersburg. Incredible, incredible representative uh, in Washington, D.C., and, and she and her good friend, Congressman Bill Young, they are able to tag team uh, and actually work together across across the aisles to really get things done in Tampa Bay. So, Congresswoman, thank you for your diligence in Washington. I'd also like to introduce the chairperson of our city council, Council Member Curran, is here. Leslie Curran. Bill Dudley is here. And since he's here, I'll, I'll introduce my friend, State Representative Jim Frisch, is also here. So as I as I talk to Congresswoman Castor, these investments, that is real money. Real money and continued savings. Uh, they will continue to pay for themselves and, and provide a great deal of relief to the taxpayers. Uh, Mike Connors is going to go into a great bit of detail when it comes to this. I told the Congresswoman that the technology that you see here is well above my pay grade, uh, but it's certainly nice to have and certainly nice to get a little bit of credit for. So thank you all for being here. Mike? Thank you, thank you Mayor. Uh, before I ask our U.S. Representative Kathy Castor to come to the podium, uh, I want to also acknowledge that uh,